Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on KF Plus LEGO Mastery. Now, what I have for you today is the V-Twin version 2. Now, if you remember my older V-Twin model, you know that the frame actually extended up and around the cylinders. But that's not actually the case. I guess I have some explaining to do of where I've been and why I haven't been uploading in a couple weeks to explain my absence. I was just taking a break, you know, YouTube. It's a lot of effort to design and work on these engines on a weekly basis and then upload them. So, you know, I just needed a break. But don't worry, I should be back to regular uploading soon enough. Anyway, um, without any further ado, uh, let's get right into running this engine and I'll go over it when I'm done. So without any further ado, uh, let's get right into running the engine. we've ran the engine um, we're gonna take a look inside and see how exactly it works now right off the bat one thing you may notice is that the valves are actually between the cylinders compared to on parallel to them out here out back now the benefits actually using this type of valve and I personally call it parallel SVS or parallel single valve system because of the fact that the valves are longitudinally parallel to their own crank, which is of course separate to the actual piston crank. But that's basically the valve system that I use and it's a lot more efficient because it saves space and also makes your uh, manifold a lot shorter and easier air distribution, making it in turn run a lot faster. So if we take a look on the inside here, and the reason why I have these four pieces here holding the manifold to the other side of the engine is to hold it in place and create a better seal because of the fact that um, this angle of Lego cannot directly connect with a flat horizontal angle of Lego. So opening up, as you can see, the valves have their own crank. It is as you can see, the 1.5 um, stud crank pieces. And if I go ahead and remove this pillar here, you can better see the crank. And basically it runs the valves and is 90 degrees offset the main crank, as you might have guessed, and is driven 
buy some chain gears here. Now another thing you may notice is I have paper gaskets used to create a better seal. Now these are optional, of course, you don't have to use these, but I definitely would highly recommend them if you wanna get some higher performance, especially if you have a lower power vacuum. You wanna get the most out of these things. And as you can see, we have the dual 40 tooth chain gear driven valve train tensioned perfectly with a little bit of play so that it's not too tight and not too loose that the chain will skip. It is 90 degrees offset from the crank down in the bottom. I'm gonna have a hard time showing you this angle, but it's in there as you can see. And yeah, the crank arms are a lot longer than you may think. Standard crank arm for this V-twin is actually 11 studs long in order to reach up to the cylinders. And that's because in order to get the best performance, we have to have the crank straight up and down compared to farther up on the actual engine block to create optimal performance. I actually have a picture of it and I'll show you it right now of how it will actually benefit your engine. And that's basically the, how it works. Now, as for the cylinders, very, very basic stuff. Um, just a standard LVE cylinder, single valve system, exhaust, intake, and it runs in the clockwise direction. Valve comes up, piston goes up, and so on and so forth. The V angle for this is pretty much 90 degrees, but um, it's not actually quite because of, the, of the, how this cylinder bank is actually positioned. If you guys want a tutorial for this V-Twin, please let me know. I may do one depending on your requests. I want to do one and I have a new strategy of making tutorials for more complex engines that I hope you'll enjoy. Anyway, that just about wraps up the explanation for this engine. So everyone, um, that's going to just about conclude today's video. As I said, if you do want a tutorial for this engine, I will be willingly making one, as well as coming out soon, hopefully the next video, I'll be making a butterfly engine tutorial for you guys. And until next time, I hope you all did enjoy, and I will see you all in the next video. See you later.